Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. What's up guys? Welcome to the video. In this video right now, I'm going to break down what's in my opinion the best, quickest, easiest, most efficient, and most importantly, the cheapest way to take product pictures for products like these Jordan sneakers to sell, resell, flip, whatever you want to call it on eBay, Amazon, Mercari, OfferUp, Goat, StockX, any of that kind of stuff. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, so a lot of you can probably guess this, but the two most important things when it comes to taking product pictures is good lighting and a good camera. But to keep it real with you guys, you don't always need a super expensive camera. Something like one of the newer iPhones that has a pretty solid camera will definitely do the trick depending on your budget. If you do have a budget for a high quality camera, obviously that's gonna be better. But like I just said, an iPhone with a good camera or really any smartphone with a good camera will definitely do the job. Now as far as the second most important thing, which in my opinion is kind of tied with the first being the camera, is good quality lighting. Doesn't necessarily have to be a ring light like that. In fact, something that works a lot better and without a doubt definitely makes it easier to take good quality product pictures is something like this guy right behind me which is called an LED shooting tent kit, as you guys can see right here. Now this is the one I have. It's made by a company called ESDDI, and the model is PKLD550. Now keeping it real with you guys, without a doubt, there is a ton of options for products like that that you can find on Amazon. If you are interested in this exact one that I use, I'll drop the link below. But like I said, there's plenty of options out there. You don't necessarily need a tent kit like this. But later on in the video, I will explain you why I think something like this is a really, really good option, especially for beginners, or like I said, someone that's working with a budget. This one right here, I got on Amazon, as you guys can see, for right around $85. But this specific company also makes quite a few other options. So obviously, if you want to, you can check out the other options, read the reviews, and make the best decision for you. With that said, let me show you how this thing works. For this example, I'm going to use these Adidas Ultra Boost that just came in yesterday that I actually haven't had the chance to lift yet. So they're nice and clean, nice and fresh. And this is obviously what they look like right out of the box. So all you got to do, which uh it's pretty self-explanatory is put them in a nice little tent get them arranged however you want and then let the shooting slash picture taking begin now as i said earlier in the video you do not need a nice super expensive camera to get the job done for the majority of you especially if you're just starting out and you have a little bit smaller of a budget most modern day smartphones will do the job and that is why i'm going to show you guys what pictures of these that I personally would list on eBay look like. So in five, four, three, two, one, drum roll please. Here's the pictures. So now that you guys just saw what the product pictures or those shoe pictures look like using this iPhone, which I believe is an iPhone 8, which obviously isn't even the newest model by any means, in my opinion, the picture quality is still pretty solid and without a doubt, at least for me, good enough for product listings on sites like I said earlier in the video, such as eBay, Mercari, Goat, StockX, OfferUp, you know, whatever it is, depending on the specific item that you're selling. But I'll let you guys be the judge. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the picture quality for the pictures that I took using this iPhone. Now before we go ahead and wrap up this video, I just wanted to point out a couple more things about this lighting kit, lighting tent, whatever you want to call it. The first one being, some of you guys may be wondering how I got shots like this one or this one, 
or this one? Well, the answer to that question is pretty simple. Well, let me show you. Now, all you have to do if you want to take pictures of your products from either the bird's eye view, the top of the product, hovering over the product, whatever you want to call it, is come up to the top, open up this little secret door like this, and boom, there you go. You got your bird's eye view, which makes it pretty simple to get whatever angle you're looking for. And if you're looking for something else other than, you know, the top or the front, another cool thing about this lighting kit, lighting tent is you can close up the front, which I always have to do because I have a dog and somehow her hairs always manage to find their way inside of this thing, even when it's completely closed like that. Like I said, if you want a different angle or perhaps a more wide open view of the front of your product, all the sides are Velcro. Like I said, the thing's collapsible. It can fit in this box. So all you have to do is if you want to get a bigger area for the top shot, you just fold up the top. You can remove this little white blanket, which is used to pretty much just help reflect light. You can also close this trap door as well, depending on what kind of lighting situation you're looking for. And if you want a more open or bigger view from the top, all you gotta do is take this side, pull it off, take this side, pull it off. And since it's Velcro, it comes off pretty easily. And there you go, you got a much more wide open view from the top. And like I pointed out earlier in the video, this specific lighting kit comes with three different backgrounds. Like I said, this is the gray one, and then you also got a white one and a black one. So depending on what color the product is that you're taking pictures of, you may wanna change it to black. If the product that you're taking pictures of is a light color, like these white and Carolina blue Jordans. You may wanna opt for a darker background, like the black one. Whereas if your product is a darker color, like these black Adidas NMDs, I'd recommend choosing this light gray background or perhaps the white background, just to make the product pop that much better. But personally, that's me. Obviously the choice is completely up to you. And as you guys can see, I now pulled it down the front. And just like I said, the whole thing's Velcro, so it goes up and down very easily. And you can do it on all sides, like I showed you guys on the top. You can do it from the left side, or the right side, or basically from any side, so that you can get that perfect angle, that perfect shot. And with that said, that's a wrap for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, like always, drop them below. I'll do my best to help you out. If not, no worries. I'll catch you in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your night. Stay sane, stay safe, and as always, stay limitless. Take a shot, you got